This video has been made for people who are considering remapping the vehicle just to get more power out of it and just to give you an engineering perspective of what you're actually doing when you're remapping your car. Uh, are you going to benefit from it? Are you going to get more power? Or are you just creating like a time bomb and you're going to kill your engine eventually? The information I'm going to give you is, is from an engineering perspective. As you can see in front of you, all the internal parts of the engine uh, at the bottom, the crankshaft, connected to the con rods, the pistons going up and down. All these components have been tested and the parameters of the engine and the torque and everything which has been assigned to that vehicle and that engine are based on the materials uh, that the components have been made with and they've been tested to safety factors as to how much um, power they can handle and give out. So if we go on to a component testing software, for example here in front of you is a conrod. You can see it's been assigned a material and it, when you test the, um, the conrod you set some boundary conditions um, you fix it to a, a spot where the conrod will be fixed to and then you add a load to it in this case there's 108 um, thousand newtons of force which are going to be added to this conrod it is kind of replicating the kind of force that it's going to be getting at the max um, point of the engine uh, when it's generating the most power so that the materials that these um, this conrod is made with this is the maximum that it can actually handle um, so you can see with this um, the results you can see from here um, the red parts is where it would fail and generally uh, they use a safety factor of this is showing a safety factor of three, but generally anything uh, in in industry, uh, this is just for like a study purposes. Uh, the safety factor of three is being used, but generally in manufacturing and when this the engine will be made, um, the sa uh, safety factor commonly used is um, one point two five to one point five. So anything under one, uh, that part's gonna fail. So if I was to change this safety factor um, to say 1.5 for example and then you can see that it's all blue at the moment. So in effect, this conrod can handle what it's been designed for and the engine. What you do when you remap a car is you're adding more force um, to the engine. So that engine now, it's going to be giving more force to the conrod. So it might not be able to handle it. So I can give you an example of this. So if we go to the force and we chain the force that's going to be added say it was on a 108 here so if we change that to say 200 for example and then we run this study you will see the difference it's going to make So it's not going to be, that's the stress side of it, the displacement, the strain, and the factor of safety. You can see that, that this part is failing around here, in these areas. That's just by giving it some extra newtons of force. So the reason I'm showing you all this is... What you're actually doing when you're remapping a car is you're adding extra force 
but you're not changing the material of the internals. Um, you're not making them thicker, you're not making them bigger to be able to uh, uh, withstand that extra force. So this is just a basic example of just one component in the engine which is, you know, the way it gets tested um, on this kind of software like SOLIDWORKS so that the parameters that are for that engine are specific to the components that are in the engine. So if you remap a car, you're giving it extra power, uh, the internals aren't going to be able to handle it. Uh, secondly, you do get uh, people who are saying that oh, when you remap an engine, you can um, operate the turbo and, you know, put different pipes on it and stuff like that. That's actually going to kill it quicker because you, when you give a, a bigger turbo on it and you've increased the parameters, you're going to get more uh, fuel in the engine, uh, more air going in, it's going to burn faster, the internals are going to get... Um, worn more and it's going to actually kill it quicker manufacturers of engines they already give it you know the maximum that it can it, it, what it can handle and give out if they give if they left tolerances in there like for you to tune up and give you extra power then they wouldn't uh, introduce a, a different model you know they wouldn't give it another engine and they won't be able to sell other cars. Say, for example, if you um, if you want a faster car, um, you're better off buying a, a faster engine because that's that's what it's there for. This whole myth of like turning a two liter TDI to like two hundred and fifty bhp, it's it's like a ticking time bomb. You're gonna kill the car. It's not worth doing it. It's it's a bit of a con, and I've had a lot of experience of people who've had uh, cars remapped and they've been booting it just to feel that extra power and within a couple of months the whole engine has failed and this is the reason why it's failing it. I wanted to you know produce a bit of evidence as to how you know on from an engineering perspective when we design engines and we actually set the parameters for what the intended use for that engine is all the components are made with all that in consideration taking all that into consideration because nobody no engine manufacturer is going to make a uh, like a a component for the engine stronger than it needs to be because it's all about cost at the end of the day um, they're not going to make it thicker just in case somebody remaps the engine they're going to make it for the for the power that's the engine's meant to produce so if you're thinking of remapping your car think again and if you want a faster car just buy a faster car i hope you can you know understand what i where i'm coming from and if anybody has got anything um to argue this case just say it in the comments you know i'm open to listen to anything but i've i've seen this from the whole designing and testing of components and that side of it and um what i get from this is people who are remapping cars to increase power they're just ripping people off so you know take, take this into consideration and uh, if you are thinking of remapping a car don't do it and if you know somebody who's trying to is, got, is about to remap a car, uh, also tell them you know it's it's not worth it. Okay.